My identity is found in Christ and in Him alone. I'm Pastor Dean. Thanks for joining me here at the Lakes for Good News Reflections. It is a beautiful day in, in uh, Wapaka. It is Wednesday, July 29th. And for chapter day, we're reading Matthew chapter 26. I invite you to read the entire chapter. The setting is Jesus' earthly ministry is ending. He has spent the last two and a half years training uh, his disciples and friends to carry his message to the ends of the earth. And he gathers them together to celebrate the Passover and what we now know as the Lord's Supper. And for this reflection, then, I want us to look at uh, Matthew chapter 26, starting at verse 26. Now, as uh, they were eating... Jesus took bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take and eat. This is my body. He took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink it, all of you. For this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Well, we live in a world of contracts, not covenants. I had to buy a uh, new phone the other day. It's incredibly frustrating, but um, I had to do it. And the instructions I received uh, that I got were one paragraph long. For the whole phone, the instructions, one paragraph. And when I was talking to the salesman, I'm triple his age about it, uh, he said, don't worry about it. It's intuitive. You'll just figure it out. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that ain't going to happen. Uh, but when it came to the actual purchase, it was impossible uh, navigating the pages and pages of contractual agreement that they were asking me to sign. And he said, just go ahead and sign it. Nobody reads that stuff anyway. Now, we all have contractual obligations, whether it's cell phones or leases or mortgages. Contracts are temporary. If you uh, pay off your 30-year mortgage, uh, then the next month, the month following that 30 years, you're not going to send any more money to the bank. It's not like your uh, mortgage is going to be over and you're going to say, well, we do it every month. We're just going to keep doing it because we love to do it. No, no. Contracts have always to do with the minimum. What is the minimum amount I need to do in order to fulfill the obligation that I have with the other person regarding this contract? I'm always going to do the least amount possible. Jesus did not come to bring a contract. Instead, he came to bring covenant. Covenants have to do with how much can I do to bless the other. Contracts are designated to help us negotiate situations, especially where we do not trust the other person. Contracts are always based on, if you do this, then I'll do this. If you provide a phone for me <laughs> then, and, and good cell service, then I will pay the amount. If you do this, then I will do that. Jesus, of course, did not come to bring contract. Instead, he came to bring and fulfill for us covenantal and covenantal relationships, which are not temporary, but which are eternal, and which are based on the integrity and the love of the Father for us and for all of his creation. He comes to bring a covenant, a promise. Not based on how good we are, but based on him and his integrity and his love. When I was growing up, um, we used to sing an old hymn. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. He invites me into this covenant to partake of his very body and blood because of what he has first done for me, for his outstanding love. My identity is not based on what I do. My identity is found in him and what he has done for me. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. 
He loves this fallen and broken world, and He invites us to enter relationship with Him. Thank you.